In previous videos, we've already looked at some basic update actions. Let's look at how update can be a bit more powerful, and especially in regards to reference data. So let's make a modification to Q5, which is on stage right now. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, 55 through 63. And I'm going to actually make those more orange. And I'm going to go ahead and grab group 12 at full. And we're going to put that guy focus palette to so that'll put all those fixtures on our actor. And I'm going to save those into Q5. So I'm going to say update. And you'll see the channels 55 through 63 and 111 through 115 are going to get updated into Q5. And that's what we want. So we'll hit enter. And you can see that 111 through 115 are added to my Q5. But if we go back and we look at 55 through 63, you can see that the changes that I made were stored directly into the queue, and that those channels are no longer referencing color palette one. Uh, sometimes I want to be able to change a palette and have that change stored with the palette, not necessarily just in the queue. So let's say, for example, that 111 is not quite on the actor that I want. So I'm going to grab that channel. And maybe we need to tilt it up just a little bit, pan him a little over, and that's great. So if I were to store this into my queue, this would be great for this queue, but any other time I use Focus Palette 2, these changes won't be saved. So I actually want to update Focus Palette 2. To do this, we'll want to put our channel selection onto the command line to make sure that we're just storing those changes update and I want to update the actual focus palette so I'm going to come in and add an ML controls and say update focus palette to enter so now those changes are stored back into focus palette 2 however you'll notice that it still says that they're manual and that's because the old Q5 is still on stage so I can just simply say go to Q enter and that's going to refresh the current state of Q5. In addition to updating queues and reference targets, we can also update subs. So I'm going to go to Q out really quick just to clear our stage. And I'm going to page up. So sub 2 has our blue side lights stored in it, as well as a front light for our actor and a blue psych. If we wanted to add 1 and 3 to that, we could bring them up manually. And just like our references, we want to make sure that we tell the board which channels we want to update into our sub. So we can simply say 1 and 3, update, sub 2, enter. And now those are stored into my submaster 2.